Hello friends, this video on data handling part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 2. The number of girl students in each class of a co-educational middle school is depicted by the pictograph. Okay, here look at this very closely. Each picture refers to four girls. Okay. Now, looking at this pictograph, we will have to answer the following questions. Which class has the minimum number of girl students? Definitely that class. Now, we, we do not need to calculate how many students are there in each class. Just by looking at this picture, we can say which has minimum number of girl students. That class where you have minimum number of pictures. So, we have minimum number of pictures in class 8. You just have one full picture and one half picture. That's it. So, class 8 has minimum number of girl students. Second question is, is the number of girls in class 6 less than the number of girls in class 5? So class 6, how many girls do we have in class 6? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pictures and each picture represents 4 girls. So 4 into 4, that is total 16 girls in class 6. What about class 5? So in class 5, how many pictures you have? 2 and a half. So 2 full pictures, so 2 into 4 plus one half picture half means half of four so just two so this would be eight plus two that is ten so there are ten students in class five and sixteen students in class six therefore number of girls in class six is more than the number of girls in class five so is the number of girls in class six less than the number of girls in class five no instead it is greater Third question, how many girls are there in class 7? So this is class 7 and in class 7 how many pictures you have? 1, 2, 3. So 3 into 4 because 4 girls is represented by each picture. So four, 3 into 4 would be 12. So there are 12 girls in class 7. Question number 3, in a village 6 fruit merchants sold the following number of fruit baskets in a particular season. So again we have a pictograph and here it says that each image represents 100 fruit baskets. So each image is 100. So observe the pictograph and answer the following. First which merchant sold the maximum number of baskets? So looking at this which for which row you have maximum number of baskets? Definitely for this one. And this row belongs to the fruit merchant Martin. So Martin sold maximum number of fruit baskets. How many fruit baskets were sold by Anwar? Where is Anwar here? So how many baskets did he, did he sell? So how many pictures of baskets are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So total 7 baskets and each of these picture represents 100 baskets. So 7 into 100. That means he sold some 700 baskets. Third question, the merchants who have sold 600 or more number of baskets are planning to buy a go down for the next season. Can you name them? So you basically need to find out those merchants who sold more than 600 baskets. So 600 baskets would mean how many such picture because each picture is 100. So 600 means 6 such pictures. So you will have to find out all those rows where you have more than 6 pictures. So this has more than six pictures. First one, no. Second one, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half. So this is also less than six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, this has more than six baskets. Martin obviously has more than six baskets because it is even greater than Anwar. What about Ranjit Singh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This also has more than six pictures. Joseph, one, two, three, four, four and a half. So this also doesn't have. So there are three such merchants who sold more than 600 baskets. And who are they? They are Anwar, Martin and Ranjit Singh. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.